Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem related to number theory. We have been asked to find out what are the last two digits of 2 power 22. Now what is the meaning of last two digits of 2 power 22? The last two digits of 2 power 22 is nothing but equals to the remainder we obtain when 2 power 22 is divided by 100. Now we have to find out in other way, we have to find out the remainder when 2 power 22 is divided by 100. To solve this problem, we will be using the concept of congruence modulo. So let us briefly understand about the congruence modulo and how it will help us to find out the last two digits of 2 power 22 or the remainder that we will get when 2 power 22 is divided by 100. So let me just write down them. The first equation or the first statement what we will learn is a what's the meaning of this? We read this as a and b are congruent modulo to n a and b are congruent modulo to n the meaning of that is a and b will leave the same remainders when divided by n let me write down that there is another way to that also we will write down both of that the meaning of that is a and B leaves same remainder when divided by n. The other way what we can look at is that A minus B is divisible by n. So if we say a congre a comma b congruent modulo to n, what is the meaning of that? A and b leaves the same remainder whenever a and b are divided by n. And another way, a minus b is divisible by n. So extending this concept, we have couple of other formulas. We'll just go through them. The first formula is I will write down with another color. If a comma b congruent modulo to n and c comma d are congruent modulo to n, then we can write down a into c is a into c comma b into d are also congruent modulo to n. So this is one property which we'll be using when we are solving this particular problem. There is another one which we'll be using that also I will write down. A congruent B modulo N then A power X and B power X are also congruent modulo to N. What is the meaning of that in other way is if a minus b is divisible by n, a power x minus b power x is also divisible by n, which is fact because a minus b is divisible by n, then we can see that a square minus b square, a cube minus b cube, a power 4 minus b power 4, all of them are divisible by n because all of them can be written as a product of something multiplied with a minus b or for all of them a minus b is a factor. Now these all properties will be leveraging to find out the last two digits of 2 power 22. So let's go ahead with that. Start with saying our first statement is we want 2 power 22. We are starting with 2 power 4 and we are saying 2 power 4 and 16 are congruent modulo to 100. 
what is the meaning of that if i take 2 power 4 and 16 subtract them then it is divisible by 100 now then we will apply the this property what we learned we will raise this to the power of 2 and we will say 2 power 4 whole square and 16 square are also congruent modulo 100 now what is 2 power 4 square that is 2 power 8 and here we are getting 256 modulo 100 now we can change this 256 we can cut off this 2 and we can write down 2 power 8 congruent modulo 2 2 power 8 and 56 both are congruent modulo to 100 because 256 minus 256 is divisible by 100 and also 256 minus 56 also divisible by 100 our idea is to make this number as small as possible so whatever the number we are getting here we'll try to divide it by 100 and see whatever the remain we remainder we are getting that only we are going to use it okay fine now then what i will do after that i'll raise this again one more time square it then i will have 2 power 8 whole square is 56 square mod 100 what's the meaning of that 2 power 8 whole square that is 2 power 16 and 56 square is 31 36 they both will leave the same remainder when divided by 100 again i can change this as 2 power 16 and 36 congruent modulo to 100 or can i say that 2 power 16 minus 36 is divisible by 100 now earlier if you remember we have written 2 power 4 and 16 congruent modulo to 100 that means 2 power 4 minus 16 is divisible by 100 now this one and this one will multiply we will have 2 power 20 and 36 into 16 is congruent modulo to 100 now that is equals to 2 power 20 congruent modulo to 576 2 power 20 576 will leave the same remainder when divided by 100 now this 576 i can remove the 5 part because we are interested only in last two digits divided by 100 so can i write down 2 power 20 and 76 are congruent modulo to 100 what we want is 2 power 22 so we will multiply this with 2 power 20 into 2 square i will write down 2 power 20 into 2 square congruent modulo to 76 into 2 square is 4 2 power 20 into 2 square and 76 into 4 both are congruent modulo to 100 so we can write it as 2 power 22 and 76 fours are 304 both are congruent modulo to 100 as we said we are interested in three not last two digits i'll remove that three because if i take three zero four and divide by hundred now i can write it as three hundred plus four now three hundred is divisible by hundred so this will go away we are left out with only four so can i say that two power twenty two and zero four are congruent modulo to hundred which is nothing but the last two digits of 2 power 22 are 0 and 4 since it's a small number only we can just go ahead and check that also let's do that 2 power 22 is 2 power 20 into 2 square that is 2 power 5 into 2 power 5 into 2 power 5 into 2 power 5 into 2 square let's multiply this 32 into 32 into 32 into 32 into 4 32 into 32 we know is 1024 again one more 1024 and that we need to multiply with 4 1024 into 1024 will be i think 10 
four eight five seven six when we multiply that we are interested only in the last two digits which are coming as zero comma four so we have verified that also so whenever we have problems like this then we can use congruent modulo to easily find out either the last one digit two digits or three digits last one digit is you can use the Divide remainder when you get divided by 10 last two digits is the remainder when you divide by 100 and last three digits is the remainder you get when you divide by 1000.